Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be bringing back Pekka Double Prince inside of Clash Royale. I know we posted the Prince Graveyard deck, but this one looks pretty fun, and uh, yeah, someone was playing this actually on TV Royale, and it looks like a pretty fun deck, and normally the number one thing I worry about with Pekka Double Prince is the fact that its air defense is poor, but at least we have the Electro Wizard inside of this deck instead of the normal Ice Wizard, and it'd be pretty fun to see if we could pick up some wins using this. I have no idea if it's going to work. Pekka Double Prince has been pretty outdated for a while and uh, you really have to match up against the right person to take advantage of it and let's just go ahead and see if we can get it done now we've got the pekka as our starter and i'm not sure if i really want to go too crazy with it this deck is super expensive so keep that in mind as the pekka goes down he's going to go with the miner i'll go ahead and do our electro wizard to make sure we can kill all these goblins and uh, eventually those will all die that was a seven elixir push we only played three elixir on defense not too bad electro wizard getting close to some damage over there but what can we do against what he's going to bring? Now, we've got the Dark Prince. Does he have, like, minions or something? That would be unfortunate. He's going to actually have that Inferno Tower, which is going to be brutal. Meanwhile, we've got a Hog Rider right here, which is going to take some damage. Mm -hmm. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough to break through this Inferno Tower, but I have faith, guys. I have faith. We obviously need to play this Elixir Collector to start get something going, but we don't have a Zap Spell inside of this deck, which would be clutch against what we're trying to do. Now, there's the Miner. We can't do anything really against the Miner. I guess I can shove the Miner to the to the tower right there, uh, which is going to work out. You can get some damage on that Inferno. He's going to play seven Elixir against us. We did play two Elixir with our, our Log plus the regular ones that we played. And against an Inferno Tower, this is going to be... This is going to be a tough cookie to crack, guys. Well, let's get ready with our P.E.K.K.A. Once again, P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down. He might play a Hog Rider with a Goblin Gang. We'll use the Electro Wizard on top of all of that. We have to find a way to get this Electro Wizard to that Inferno Tower, though. That could be our only hope. And uh, as those Goblins die, that's going to be fine. But this P.E.K.K.A. is probably just going to die to the Inferno Tower again. Unless this Electro Wizard can do something. There goes his Goblin Gang. We'll use our Princess. And the P.E.K.K.A. is going to die once again to that Inferno Tower. And this is going to really depend on Double Elixir now. Dark Prince is going to miss on that Miner. Ugh, not a great play against there, and this is a struggle so far, but I still have faith, guys. Pekka Double Prince, would you believe it? This used to be the strongest strategy inside of Clash Royale, and uh, right now it's getting wrecked by this Inferno Tower. we got to keep it together right now. Man, those were really the days with Pekka Double Prince. It was, it was craziness back then. Clash Royale was a wild, wild west. No one had any idea what actually worked and didn't work. Let's go and use our Pekka again. This has to be a push where we can get some massive damage. And as he plays his Hog Rider, we'll play our Prince. And let's see if our Prince can do anything. Uh, as it kills the Hog Rider, only taking one hit on the tower. Prince is going to run through, probably into a Goblin Gang or something. Uh, yeah, there it goes into the Goblin Gang. We've got the Electro Wizard here. We've got the Princess here. This has to be something that works for us. Okay, here we go. Electro Wizard has to do damage against this tower. Please, Electro Wizard, do something instead. It's going to turn around and hit the Miner. His Zap Spell is going to be horrendous, but it doesn't matter in the end. We're still taking on massive damage. The P.E.K.K.A. He's going to go down. He's got the Goblin Barrel to go along beside the Hog Rider. We don't have anything really nice right now to deal with the Hog. We're going to have to use our Electro Wizard, which is what we want to use to kill the Inferno. This match is just taking a turn for the worse. And how do we want to do this? There goes the Electro Wizard. He might drop his... He might drop everything he has on the other side for the P.E.K.K.A. Let's go ahead and do the Double Prince right here. There they go. Charging in. Dark Prince is actually going to hit the tower. The Prince is locked on. I repeat, the Prince has locked on. Dark Prince is locked on as well. Let's use our log against all of this right here to keep us alive. We're going to damage his tower. Guys, we did damage with the P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince. Do you believe it? 605 HP is all he has left. Electro Wizard is going to go down. Let's stop that Hog Rider before it does anything crazy. Hog Rider is going to get chopped before it can even do any damage whatsoever. Ever. Fireball is going to go down. Is this our time? Is this our time to shine? Look at the Dark Prince. Look at the Electro Wizard. Look at everything. Do you believe in miracles? That's going to be a perfect log right there. GG against Marcelo. That worked. I didn't think that was going to work, but it worked. Eventually, we broke through without the Zab spell. Wow. Pekka Double Prince apparently works again inside of Clash Royale. Now, that was tough against an Inferno Tower. I wouldn't want any of you guys to deal with that. Hopefully, we go against a non-Inferno user in this battle. We can really use our Elixir Collector without having to go against a Miner. That was actually one of the tougher decks we could possibly go against. But uh, instead, he's going to drop his Balloon right here. We have to use our Electro Wizard effectively. Let's start working on that. Is he going to do anything against this Electro Wizard? Nope. Looks like we made a two Elixir positive trade. Plus, we have the Elixir Collector. Plus, he had... Oh, that was a five Elixir positive trade when you factor in that Mega Minion had to die. Wow. Guys, has our luck turned around or what? This is looking like a really solid start for us. Let's go ahead and do our Princess right here. 
And as we save up some elixir, he's gonna do his lava hound. Wow. All right, this has to be our chance to shine. Let's use our Dark Prince right now, and we're gonna go full in on this side of the map. Look at this, he's gonna use everything. He's got minions right here. Minions are gonna do their best, but look at the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. should lock onto the tower, but he used the poison spell to help. Look at this Lava Hound right here. This Lava Hound's all he has. He has to make this Lava Hound work, or else he's just in massive trouble. Uh, looks like the Electro Wizard's gonna try to work on both of these here. And with the Princess trying to help out, the P.E.K.K.A. is still dishing damage on the other side. That's actually not too terrible for us. He's going to play a free spell, of course. And uh, who knows if that free spell is going to actually be able to work out perfectly for him. There goes the Princess. We're going to take massive damage, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to play another Collector. And uh, since we've taken that first tower, I'm feeling a lot better about our chances. And we might have a chance just to steamroll that left-hand side and pick up a three-crown victory. That could be our chance to win. Arrows going down on our Princess. Very predictable. Let's do our P.E.K.K.A. and let's go for three crowns, guys. I think three crowns should be the goal with any P.E.K.K.A. double Prince deck. And actually, you know what? He's going to disrespect us right here with this right here. Let's go ahead and do this. Does he have anything? He's got minions, I know. But are the minions going to be enough? Are they going to be enough? Prince is going to charge. Oh, it did hit, actually. The Dark Prince did hit. Or the Prince did hit. And now with these minions, what else is he going to do? All right. Well, I gave up on the three crown, guys. It was fun while it lasted, but the three crown dream is dead. He's going to play his Lava Hound again. He is just begging, begging for us to steamroll one side of his map. I'm going to get ready with our Princess over here. I don't want to use it against that Lava Hound. I don't think it's actually going to work. I'm going to use an Elixir Collector, too. And this should be okay. All right, let's get ready. Electro Wizard momentarily. He's going to drop a really massive push over here. Uh, Pekka's going to die in a second. He's got a free spell, too. This is brutal. Wait, Pekka's going to die, actually. Oh, no. Pekka Double Prince, how have you failed me? Princess is going to kill those minions. I have to do something, though. Here goes the Prince. Here goes everything. Electro Wizard. Uh, Electro Wizard's going to go down. Poison Spell going down. Prince will charge into the tower, though, getting some massive damage. That tower's going to go down to zero. But look at this, guys. This is going to be a battle for the ages. Who is going to be the one to charge to victory? Here we go with our Prince. Here we go with everything. I need to finish this off right now. Skeletons are going down. Prince is going down. Dark Prince is going down. Electro Wizard. Please kill this guy right here. Let's keep going. Don't focus on the Lava Hound. Focus on victory. There goes the Prince charging at the tower. It's going to do critical damage. The tower is so, so low. I'm going to use this right here. He's got so much left, though, in the tank. Let's use the Elixir Collector. Turn that thing around. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, though, guys. I think this is the end of the ship. I think this is the end of it. Good game. Well played against this balloon Lava Hound player. Oh, we could have done it. We could have done it but we couldn't pull it out with P.E.K.K.A. Double P. Ugh! All right. Well, that was a fun battle no matter what. Three minutes and 30 seconds to take the victory. Three crowns to do, which usually seem to be the most dramatic battles. Let's try another one against Logan. He's actually a level eight. I haven't seen a level eight inside of a challenge in forever. And uh, let's see if we can keep this P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince stream alive. I feel like it's our destiny, guys. We got to bring this back. Uh, all right, I'm going to put this way back here. What is he going to do? He's got a golem. Okay, now we can chop that golem down, guys. I'm not sure of many things inside of Clash Royale, but I am sure that we can chop that golem into little pieces. In fact, I'm going to start with the princess. I'm going to force him to respond on this side just because I don't have my P.E.K.K.A. in rotation. Princess is just going to start charging away. Let's go and use our P.E.K.K.A. right here. P.E.K.K.A. might be able to distract some guards. Now, it's not going to do anything against the guards. Let's go ahead and use our Electro... Um, Actually, we'll use the Dark Prince to kill these archers. Give the P.E.K.K.A. a little bit of breathing room against this golem. Give the P.E.K.K.A. a room. P.E.K.K.A. needs to breathe. Here goes our Electro Wizard. Let's stop these golemites. And those minions should die in a moment to our Electro Wizard. This is setting up to be a nice little push for us. His Collector is going down. What in the world? Okay, Prince did go in front of our, our stuff right there, which is disappointing. But look at this push. What is happening right now? Wow! This tower is basically dead. We've got the poison spell to help deal with this witch. We don't want to deal with those little skeletons. Look at this push. Prince is going to lock on. This is a, a this is a real P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince beatdown right now. Electro Wizard is locking on. Prince is locking on. Princess is locking on. Dark Prince is locking on. I'm trying to go ahead and see how much damage I can do to this King Tower without throwing this battle. Dark Prince is going to kill that archer. Minions are there. But look at this princess. The little princess that could is just terrorizing this tower. Electro Wizard to protect her right there. He throws out a wow because he knows this game is over. That princess dominating to a three crown victory. That was fast. Now, normally you don't expect that, but that guy, I don't know how, he was level eight. Apparently he had five wins already and that was probably his third loss. So let's go ahead and go to one more battle right now. That one was just so fast, so furious. Let's see if we can pull off just one more win. One more win in Pekka Double Prince. We're throwing it back. May of 2016, Mar April of 2016. 
one of the uh, one of the staple decks. We'll use our elixir collector first. He's gonna use his hog rider. Um, we need to cycle to our log. We need to cycle to our log. We need to cycle to our log, and the log is not there. Okay, we took way too much damage. He played 12 elixir. We played 13 elixir. Besides our elixir pumps. Oh man. Okay, I think we gained like two elixir out of losing 1700 HP on our tower. Ugh! That's not what we wanted. Let's get the prince ready, or let's get the Pekka ready again. Pekka's ready to rumble. Let's do it. Pekka is ready to rumble. He's got his princess. I'm going to use a dark prince over here, see if we can knock her down a little bit. He might just play minions, which is annoying, but still going to be fine. Dark prince is going to charge all the way to the lumber deck, actually. Let's go ahead and knock him low at least. Okay, very nicely done. And now in a second, we've got our princess to help out over here. I've got my poison spell as well. I'm expecting skeletons or something of the sort. Nope, that's not going to actually happen. Pekka's going to kill that. Here goes everything else. And Pekka's not going to actually be able to do anything. Okay. Well, we got some poison spell damage on the tower, guys. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Yeah, I'm right. But I'm also wrong because this is terrible. This is terrible. How are we going to do this? Well, we won that first battle somehow, some way, so maybe we can win one more, guys. That's what we have to really bank on right now, is pulling out some sort of crazy comeback. And uh, as he gets ready with all of his stuff, let's go ahead and use the Electro against his princess. He's just chipping our tower down. He could even have something better to deal with us. Let's use our P.E.K.K.A., though. But with 13 seconds left, you know, you got, you got to think that we need to get to double Elixir to really do anything. To really do a den against this guy, we have to get to double Elixir. I'm going to use my princess. Maybe we can do something with her. She's going to lock onto the musketeer. That's not so fun. Pekka's going to keep on going. And, yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, let's get ready with the Dark Prince again. Dark Prince is down. Dark Prince is going to help out against these goblins right here. Here goes our regular prince as well as our log to knock everything out over there. Dark Prince is going to charge up right there. Everything else is just charging. Going to kill that musketeer. Look at the prince charging into that tower. Okay, I see you, prince. I see you doing big things, Prince. Let's go ahead and do this. His rage spell is going wild with his hog rider. Ooh, that hog rider is going to do deathly damage. Guys, we did good damage with our Prince pushes. We did actually good damage with our Prince pushes. How can we get this done with only a couple of seconds left? I have no idea. Let's do our poison spell. Maybe that can protect against this Prince. He's going to use his musketeer. Our tornado. Oh, it makes our Prince so close to that musketeer, but eventually... I don't think we're going to be able to do it. There goes our princess. There goes our Electro Wizard 2. Can we possibly keep that princess alive? But 473 HP. We were so close. So close to another victory using Pekka Double Prince, guys. It was fun, but it wasn't meant to be. Good game, well played. And guys, that's going to do it for Pekka Double Prince. We tried to bring it back, and it actually worked out okay. We went 2-2, two and two, although we did beat a level 8 inside of that other one. It was fun putting a 6-2 and two inside of the challenge. And guys, can you find a way to win with Pekka Double Prince? Let me know what you think would be a good combo. Um, what did we struggle with there? everything mm, i don't know we'll see i don't know what would really work first but guys that's gonna do it for this pekka double prince tryout bring it back to 2016 i used this deck when i was like top 10 global which was really fun except i had the ice wizard and i don't think i used maybe i did use the collector but i used the zap instead of the log anyways that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you smack that like button for some old school clash royale until next time i will see you guys later peace out